so many a times this question is asked that if it is a patient patient of uh, antepartum hemorrhage or a patient of postpartum hemorrhage when should you give various blood and blood products that is when should you give prvc when should you give uh, platelets about cryo when should you give cryo so these questions are asked and how does it differ if it is a case of pph so the guidelines they give different values for initiation of uh, these transfusion of these blood and blood products and also about the therapeutic goals so in this video we'll be discussing about what are the differences between APH and PPH guidelines regarding initiation of blood and blood products and what are the therapeutic uh, therapeutic goals in each case so starting with the APH guidelines so if in a patient with APH you should give 2 liters of crystalloids and 1 to 2 liters of colloids regarding blood you uh, you have to initiate blood transfusion initially you can in case uh, the um, cross match blood is not available then you can give o negative blood and as soon as the o, 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 uh, cross match blood is available you start that and regarding fresh frozen plasma you have to for every 6 units prvcs you have to give 4 units of ffp and another criteria to give ffp is if prothrombin time or partial prothrombin time is more than 1.5 times the normal and how much ffp you give in these cases that is 12 to 15 ml per kg again an important point so i'll just repeat blood initially o negative blood until group specific blood is available ffp for every 6 units of prbcs you give 4 units of ffp or uh, the another indication for giving it if pt aptt is more than 2 times the normal then about uh, platelet concentrates you give if the platelet value is less than 50000 and about cryo precipitate you give if the fibrinogen level is less than 1 g per liter so this is very important you should know this so again a very important exam tested question that suppose there is massive blood loss in a case of abruption and it's a major abruption the reports of uh, pt aptt will take time to come but such patients with massive blood loss they are at a high, very high risk of dic so in order to avoid that you give prophylactically 4 units ffp and 10 units cryo precipitate or two pools of cryo precipitate one pool of Uh, cryo precipitate contains 5 units so in those cases you give 4 units ffp and 10 units cryo precipitate or two pools of cryo precipitate and and uh, this is very important exam tested concept and all cases like uh, if there is massive aph you have to do an incident reporting this is again very important this there are certain indications where you have to do incident uh, reporting this is one of the case where there is massive uh, aph at they sh- uh, you should give uh, thromboprophylaxis you have to debrief the patient and do incident reporting okay now you have managed the patient now this is again asked very frequently like till when will you continue the blood and pr- blood products what are your therapeutic goals so you continue your blood and blood products until the hemoglobin is more than 8 g per deciliter platelet count is more than 75000 pt is less than 1.5 times the normal aptt is again less than 1 1.5 times the normal and fibrinogen is more than 1 g per liter this you have to remember very clearly that you your therapeutic goals in cases of aph is hemoglobin more than 8 platelet count more than platelet count more than 75000 pt less than 1.5 times the mean aptt less than 1.5 times the mean and fibrinogen more than 1 g per liter hope this is clear now moving to pph guideline so in cases of pph you give crystalloids up to 2 liter colloids up to 1.5 liter 
blood similarly you start o negative d negative blood until group specific blood is available once group specific blood is available you start the specific blood then fresh frozen plasma again this is again the same if a uh, aptt pt more than 1.5 times the normal then you start uh, give a fresh frozen plasma and how much you give you give 12 to 15 ml per kg and for four units brbc you give four units ffp so this here there is one is to one ratio this is in contrast to aph guideline where for six units brbc you were giving four units ffp so this you have to remember ffp you give 12 to 15 ml per kg if pt aptt more than 1.5 times the normal and for four units of brbc you give four units of ffp then about platelet concentrates you start if the platelet count is less than 75000 and cryo precipitate you give if the fibrinogen is less than 2 g per liter so uh, cryo precipitate for uh, this uh, aph you were starting you were taking a, a fibrinogen cut off little lower like if the fibrinogen was less than 1 then you were starting however in pph cases you will start cryo precipitate the fibrinogen level is less than 2 so this is importance imp uh, importance of this guideline and uh, it has been frequently asked you have to know this and you have to know the differences of this from the aph guideline so now moving on how what would be your therapeutic goals when you are managing pph that is till when will you continue your transfusion of blood and blood prote products while managing pph so your target should be hemoglobin more than 8 platelet count more than 50000 pt should be less than 1.5 times the normal aptt less than 1.5 times the normal and fibrinogen more than 2 g per liter so this is very important you all should know this and this uh, topic has been frequently asked in your exam hope this was helpful thank you so much